Good morning, yes, sir. Good morning, yes, sir. Okay, back to meet you again. Today we are learning chapter 8, lesson 1. This is building blocks of geometry. Okay? Learning objective is to identify and describe geometric figures. Those are the key words that we will learn today. And I want you to try to memorize and remember what each word means. So let's explain one by one. What is a point? What is a point? Okay? Point is exact location. Point is exact location. I want you to write down. Point is exact location. Okay, so point could be an exact location. It could be represented by capital letter and a dot. So how do we represent that point? We will use a dot, and in that dot, next to that dot, we use a capital letter. Doesn't really matter, it could be A, it could be B, it could be Z, it could be X, Y, W, whichever is fit for you or whichever they choose. <laughs> so let's call it A. Okay, this is how we represent a point. Does that make sense? Yes. So point will be exact location, it will be represented by a dot, and it will be represented by a capital letter. Does that make sense? Yes. Good. So the next one is line. What is the line? A line is a straight line that can extend both sides forever. Okay? So write down that. Line is a straight line is a straight line line and it should extend on both sides okay that means it will extend forever a straight line that can extend can extend on both sides Okay, so how do we represent a line when we are drawing a diagram? So this is how we represent a line. A line will go like this. It will have arrows on both sides. This is describing the line could be extended. And we will have two dots or two points that is represented by two dots. Okay, so let's say this will be A. And then this will be B. Okay? This is how we will show the line as a diagram. Okay? And as a representation, it will be written like A, B. Then we will draw a little line on the top to show an arrow, which have got uh, arrows both sides. A line. Which have got arrow on both sides. Does that make sense, boys? Yes. yes. So this is A B. Remember, we can also write this A B as B A. Because that means we can start on both sides. We can start from here to here, or we can start from here to here. So that's why we say B A or A B. Both of them are the same. Does that make sense? Yes. Good. So listen up. Now, the next one, sometimes we don't have to really write AB with a line. We can just write down AB. So this will also represent the line AB or it can represent the line BA. So all those kind of representations are the same. Are we all happy with that? Yes. Good. So now let's go for plan. Okay? So plan will be a flat surface that extends forever. Plan will be 
a flat surface. So right now that is a flat surface. That extend forever. That can extend forever. It will be extending as long as we can. And how do we represent a, a plan? Okay, a plan will be representing like three 2D diagrams. So we'll have like 2D, remember we have done 2D, 3D, so it will be represented like this. So we can choose like that, okay? And then we have to choose like three points. There have to be three points. Okay, this means this line can extend forever and this can extend forever, okay? So these two or three points could be here, could be here, or it could be here. The only thing is they should not be on a straight line. They should not all be on a straight line. So for example, if we have A here, we could have B here, and we could have C here. So this plan, they will not all be in a line. If they all line up, then that could be, could be called a line. But because they are not on a line and they are all in a separate position, we call this a plane. Okay? That makes sense, boys? Yes. Okay, so write down that. And then, next one, how do we represent plane? Okay, so we could write. We could just say plan. This is how we do represent it. So we say plan C B A. We could just say C B A. Or we could just say A B C. Or we could just say B C. A. Either, either way, we could represent this. We could represent this, and it will be one of those. Okay? So next one, next one is a line segment. What is a line segment? A line segment. Go ahead. No, no, we forget ray, yeah? Ray. So let's say ray. What is a ray? Okay, so ray, a ray is, a ray is a part of a line that starts at an end and then extends forever one end. Okay, so ray is a part of a line is part of a line. Okay, it's part of a line and it starts from one side. Okay, it starts from one side. Start from one side. And Mr. Dalton. It starts from one side and extend the other side forever. Okay? So and extend and extend. One side forever. Okay, so how do we represent ray? So the ray will be represented a line like this. So one side will have an arrow and the other side will not have an arrow. So we will have a dot there and we will have a dot there. So as you can see, this is part of a line. One side is extending forever, other side is just starting. So we could represent this also like uh, M, L. So we could choose any letter. M, L. 
So how do we understand this in writing? So we say M L. Okay? And then we have to put the arrow on the top. This is how we represent the line. Okay? Does that make sense? Yes. Good. So, we have now line segment. What is the line segment? Right. A part of a line which begins and ends. Yes. Mr. Well, it's like an arrow, but the starting and ending part it has a dot and it doesn't, uh, uh, it's, it stops and uh, it has a starting and ending point. Exactly. We have a starting place and it has no ending. So the ray will go on forever. That's why we indicate the arrow facing that way. So the next one is line segment. What is the line segment? So let's write down what line segment is. Line segment is part of a line and it has beginning and end. So write down that. A line segment <coughs> is part of a line, it has a beginning and end. It's part of a line, again, okay, is part of a line. And it has, it has beginning and end. So you have somewhere to start and you have somewhere to end. So how do we represent that? Okay, so we write a dot and we have a dot, so it starts from here and it ends here. That means it, it is not continuous on both sides. So it will have to start here and will end there. Okay, so that is the line segment. How do we represent the line segment? So we can say, let's say this, X and Y. X, let me focus, X and Y. And we will represent that by saying X and Y. We will draw just a straight line on the top. This line is representing its start and its ends. Does that make sense, boys? Yes. It starts and it ends. So those are the key things that you need to memorize for this lesson. And hopefully, by this, when you memorize, we will know this. Now, last but not least, what is congruent? Congruent is, okay, how do we define a congruent? Right? So, congruent figure is, they have the same shape, same size, okay? Uh, two figures that have the same shape and size if they have the same length, okay? So write down this. Figures are congruent if they have the same shape. If they have the same shape. So congruent, if two figures have got the same shape, if two figures Have the same shape and size. Does that make sense? Yes. Right. So, congruent, if they have the same shape and the size. The lines also congruent if they have the same length. So the shapes, if they are the same length, will also be congruent. Like for example, if we have this triangle, you have all seen this. And let me see through that. Anybody know what do we call this? What do we call this triangle? This is called isosceles triangle. And what do we know about isosceles triangle? 
Isosceles tri triangle have got two lines on this side and this side are congruent. That means if they are the same length and they are the same uh, shape. Equal. Yeah, equal to. This is different because this line is smaller. But these two lines are the same shape and they are the same length. So we call them congruent. Does that make sense, boys? Yes. Good. Okay. So we will we will just practice some of those questions and we will do the class work. But I hope they have uh, some clearance and some understanding. Any questions before we move on? Yes, Muhammad. So we'll start actually uh, the top, the same size, uh, and length, it will be a congruent. It will be a congruent. Okay. So we're going to stop there and thank you very much. We will continue to do the practice. Right. Thank you very much. Right. Thank you.